Hurek was running a massive race in the Cheltenham Gold Cup last season and he came down at the second last fence. Before that he'd won a Bet365 Gold Cup, a Galway Plate and a Grand National Hurdle at Far Hills. Since then he's won the King George at Kempton. He's on track again for the Gold Cup this season so we came along to Shark Hanlon's yard to see how preparations are going. He, just, he came home super so he did. Um, he, he came home, went home that night with him and he travelled home well and we gave him two or three weeks off since. He's not, he's not a horse that needs a lot of, um, of galloping and that, and he's after having a couple of weeks off. So, like for Ford King George, he didn't run for five months. And that's the only thing I was afraid of going to the King George, because I heard Nicky Henderson saying that a horse has to have a run before you go for King George. And I was sitting inside the kitchen one evening and I said, uh oh. <laughs> but listen, it worked, so that's the main thing. Um, it keeps him fresh for the year, you know, like mm. he has, he, we have a couple of options with him there now, go for the Gold Cup as one. And uh, the English National is there, which is in, still in my mind. I was going to go to Australia with him, but the flights haven't worked out right, so he's not going to get there. Uh, probably go back to America later on the year as well. But he came home. He came home, bringing the out of the King George, and um, it was a funny race. Um, the way they all went off, they went off a middle mile an hour, and um, he just did plugging and plugging, and was there at the end. And so he finished like a fresh horse. Oh, it's unreal! Like it's stuff you dream about. It's one of the biggest chases in the National Hunt, like, um, just fantastic to even be there and to win it is unreal. Like, going around, he looked very unlikely from most positions he was in and then just flew home to win it. Is, he couldn't speak or unspeak of that. How, how did that compare to, let's say, the Bet365 Gold Cup or the Galway Plate? Oh, it's uncomparable, like, it's the biggest race. My dad's won the day and I'm just mm -hmm. delighted for him because he put so much into it, him, man there, um, like, the Bet365 was, that was something special because I, ha I hadn't been England, in England much before it and to be go over and win the biggest race in the mm. finale there like in San Leon was one way. To win the King George is like one of the biggest races of the year in England or Ireland and um, for me, for a small trainer to go win, win it was a bit special. So they're a little bit fresh out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, that for me to go win it was a little bit special. Like it's um, a race everyone wants to win. Like when you're growing up, you'd be hoping that maybe you'll have a runner on the day, to know, not a winner. And it's the same as going for a Kerry National or going for the Galway Plate. You're always hoping, but to go over there and to take on the best and win it, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. This horse, the race that he was running in the Chatham Gold Cup last season as well, like when he came down at the second last, like he was running a big race at the time. He was definitely running a big race. He comes off the bridle in every race. You, you remember, um, Rachel riding him in the bet 365 and he came off the bridle after turning in and Rachel said to me she said she thought she was beaten and she says after she says 10 strides he came back on the bridle it was all over um, and that's the kind of a horse he is and he came off the bridle this time last year he came off the bridle in Chetelham mm. um, but I don't think he was beaten at the time I know that Jordan Gamefer was good when he came back in he said Sharky he says I was have to come back on the bridle to me again so um, and like this year we, we have no plan, we don't have to do the same thing. Last year we jumped out, I thought he wouldn't be able to lay up in it, mm. and Shireen nearly made the run in it, and this year we don't have to do that. We can, there's one thing about this horse, you can sit in first, second, third, last, doesn't make any difference, he'll settle wherever you put him. And the big key to him is good ground. If we can get good ground, if I can go, like last year was the first year, I think, in 10 years or soft in the ground in Cheltenham, in, on the Friday, and I want that soft gone out of it. I want proper good ground. Yeah. I think, and I think the only way we could be Willie's horse is um, on proper good ground. Yeah. He comes off the bridle, but he always comes back onto it. And he had a lot of them off the bridle on the home turn and came off it then. But he, Jordan said it that two or three strides before he came back and switched legs and caused him to fall. But I thought he would have ran back up in the third. He might not be been in the first two. To Gallivan's job was very impressive and brave man's game, but I think he would have been a solid third. He's brought you on some journey so far, like to win a, a goal at play, to win the 365 Gold Cup, and then over to America and win the Grand National Hurt. To win the Grand National Hurt was amazing over there, so it was, and the people, geez, the, the Irish people that are in America, I think half landed there that day. You know, there was a huge crowd there, and um, I remember after the horse winning, um, being in the 
been there and that just people all oh, I'm from such a place, I'm from such a place. And it was great to be able to do it for them people. So we were standing at the rail before the race and um and two men walked up to me and introduced herself and they said they came to see the horse and I said, Oh fair juice to you. I said, Are you far from here? So we're eight and a half hours. <laughs> Do you know, they're after travelling that far to come up to see Huey yeah. because they heard all about him. All their home, the people at home. One lad from Donegal, he said, his own house, he said, everyone was talking about him at home. And he said, sort of, when the horse was there, they had to come see him. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's a great, he's a people's horse. Yeah. And um, I'm lucky enough to have him. And do you remember the day, like you bought about what, 850 euro down the road in Gores Bridge? Do you remember that? I 850 euro. I'll never forget. I went down to buy a horse. As a matter of fact, a horse out of Mouse Morris's. And when I went down, he wasn't there. And I turned around to come home. And I was coming out the back gate. And I met him going in. And then, do you know that an old horse would just catch your eye? And I looked at him. And I kept going. And I looked back at him again. Came home, got the dinner. And I said to race with him inside getting the dinner. I said, man, a horse going out the back gate. And they're going out, coming out. He said, Jesse, he's a nice horse. And she said, what was he? I said, I don't know. She says, what's he by? I said, I don't know. But I said, I liked him. And I got up the table and went back down and well, when he came out into the ring, I bought him. What was it about him at the time? Do you remember what was it about him? Just a real, real nice walker. Yeah. A real nice walker. And like even when he came home, um, he's a real old place in the house. So now he's a crib buyer and he loves it. But um, I don't stop him. So a lot of people will walk away from a crib buyer. I don't see anything wrong with crib buyers. I'm after having two or three of them here anyway. And if I could have two or three more like him again, I'd be happy. Mm. He's just a legend, like he's um quite a horse ever he let you go on a pet in Ireland. Oh, he's just dead deadly legend of ours. And realistically now going to the Chapman Gold Cup, do you think he's got a realistic chance of winning it? I think he's a good better than good bit better than he was last year. And everyone can make up their own mind then. <laughs> Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.